Hello, welcome to Murphy's Kitchen. Healthy cooking, it's a lifestyle here. Murphy's Kitchen. Hi families, welcome back once again to my kitchen. I hope everyone is doing wonderfully well. Thank you for watching. Today's recipe and the video, I'm just going to share how I make or I prep my sobo or hibiscus juice. So I will begin by prepping my boil water. So I've added some water to the heat. I'm going to allow it to boil. So whilst waiting, I'm going to wash my hibiscus flour or sobo flour so i just measure two and a half cup it doesn't matter how many you want to use i'm going to wash them thoroughly with salt and vinegar so i'm going to add my cold water make sure you don't use hot or warm water whilst washing it will bring out all your color out from the flour so you can even add ice to prevent more color coming out at this point, I've turned my heat off and I'm going to add my sobo or hibiscus flour. I'm not going to boil this or to cook this. I just need the boil water so I've turned the heat off. I'm going to allow it to sit for 4 hours to get more color out. So at this point, I'm going to prep the rest of the ingredients. So here are the fruits and the spices that I'm going to add to it. So I will just cut them blend my spices and I'll continue from there so this video is to just to give you idea some of the ingredients and the spices you can add to your sobo drink so adjust things to your taste so if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe and after subscribing hit the bell in front of it it will give you some options click or notification the first one so that anytime i upload a video you get a notification about my videos so i added all the spices to add some flavor to it and also it has some benefits so that, that's why i added them so adjust things to your taste like i said i always cook all these recipes i make them how it suits my family so adjust things to suit you and your family now i'm just going to use my juicer machine to juice out the juice from the fruit if you don't have it just cut everything into the sizes your, your blender can blend add some water strain and you get your juice now all the ingredients are ready i'm just going to add it to my sobo drink so i took all the flour out to make the straining easy for me so after four hours i have a lot of color out so at this point i'm just going to strain my juice so sobo flowers have some sun uh, yeah some dirty or some sun so when you are straining make sure you check for that as you can see from the back of my part there are some sun on the back there so it will help you for you not to pour everything back into the juice so when you check for my first recipe of the sobo drink after straining i added my uh, juicy and the spices straight no uh, warming up or anything because i want to enjoy the fresh fruit with the sobo drink but this one i'm just going to warm it up a little bit then after that i will add the juice and the spices to it so now my juice has been warming up a little bit i've turned the heat off i'm going to add in the juice and the spices to it my first video i added the juice and the spices straight after i strained the sobo juice whilst it's cold and it was cloudy but if you want clear juice and you use this method i'm going to show you how you can get a clear juice so after i added everything i allow it to sit for some hours so here as you can see the separation of the hibiscus juice and the fruit juice and the spices i used to uh, sweeten it up this is for video sake but i always add everything to it and we do enjoy it so after you try the if you try this video or the recipe and your juice is cloudy but you want a clear juice you can use this method so here i have my clear sobo juice so the sweetened parts adjust them to your taste i always want my sobo to be sour 
a little bit spicy yes so adjust things to your taste and please don't forget to like share this video with friends and families and subscribe to my channel for more videos so i added the rest or the remaining of the fruit juice and the spices back into it and this is how it looks like so thank you so so much for watching until i come your way with another simple healthy recipe take care and i love you all bye -ya.